My name is Tony. My friends call me Lonely Tony. And this is my story. You might be wondering why I am sad. But let me tell you a quick story and allow you to be the judge. I manage this wine shop and it's one of the biggest in this town. God, I love my business. So thank you. Yes, Sandra. <clears throat> um, I just want to tell you something. I, as senior um, customer service attendant, I want you to also talk to your junior colleagues. Um, you guys should know how you you know relate with your customers. Okay, so okay? I, I want you guys to always smile to customers. You know customers are always right. Yes sir. So whatever I bring to you just take it. If it's something you cannot handle, just bring it to me. Okay sir. It's not clear. Yes sir. And why is this place not clean? I'll get the cleaner to do that immediately. Yes, sir. Thank you. This was the first time I met Amanda. A beautiful woman, I must confess. So, how, how can I help you? First of all, why is everyone smiling? How am I smiling? You're smiling and it's not funny. I'm serious, I am angry, and everyone is smiling. No, I'm sorry. That is our nature here. Yeah. I am really sorry. <gasps> so, madam, how can we help you? I bought some wine here yesterday. Three as a matter of fact. When I got home, I realized that one was opened. Um, do you have um, your cash out received with you? Yes, I do. Can I say it? No, it's okay. So why didn't you return it yesterday? I stay very far away from here. That's why. Okay, I'm sorry about that, eh? It's okay. I understand I'm really sorry about this, okay? Oh, okay, sorry now. Yes, sir. 
I'm really sorry about that. Um, okay, Sandra. Sir? Uh, okay, just um uh I'm gonna wait to you um it's okay, I'll just give out any wine of shots, okay? Wine, whiskey, anything you do. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. No problem. Any other thing just let me know. Alright? Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And don't forget to catch your night with me, sir. So are we? See? Jenny's the chest mark. I'll pack it for you. Can you stop smiling? Please. Your choice. I will not talk. Get your mind. This is the green cover. Wow. You made a nice choice. Let me pack it. These are my very close friends, Collins and Felix. Hey, How you been, Deborah? Hey. <laughs> oh, Deborah. Oh, Deborah is fine. She will send me a message. She, she sent me a text message that uh, we need to sit together and talk. Tony, what have you done? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything. No. Uh, the last time we were together, man, we were having fun now. We had fun, seriously, we did. We cooked, we ate together, we even napped. <laughs> <laughs> and we ended up going to see a movie together. So uh, have you proposed to her yet? <laughs> you understand? This proposing thing is a problem. Do you know that anytime I want to propose to her, something will happen. Something will happen. I'll now postpone it again. I was okay. Ah, next time I'll do it. Hey, next week I'll do it. Just keep on procrastinating hey, for hey, not hey, just reason. Not procrastination. Where is the ring now? Huh? The ring. The ring. Yeah. Yes, in the car now. Huh? How you carry your ring keep for? Um, uh, I just kept it in the car. So, how much did you buy? Why are you asking me how much I bought it? Huh? Only be asking me that. Do you want to buy it? No, yes. huh? no, no, no. The ring that I want to use today. No, I decided that today. I am today. Today. Hey! No best well, that's a boss move. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, where is this guy? You want to declare for us? Uh, let me declare. I want I to mean, declare. Are we going to declare for you now? I beg you. Thank you so much for this beautiful treat. You're welcome. Anyways. The reason why I asked you to meet me here today is because I have something important to say. Okay. Really? So what is it? Tony, I'm breaking up with you. What? Yes, I'm breaking up with you. Just like that? Just like that. Uh, Deb, what happened? I mean... <laughs> This relationship is going nowhere. We've been dating for what? Eight years. And I mean, the relationship is so stagnant. Stagnant? Mm. Stagnant? What do you mean? You mean me proposing to you? Of course. Marriage, yes. I mean, when you met me, I asked you what you wanted from me, okay? And you told me you wanted marriage. A relationship that would lead to marriage, right? And so Deb, so what if I tell you that um, I am ready to propose to you like today, like right now? <laughs> you propose. <laughs> you know that's like finding a stone in a divorce. It's not gonna happen. I mean, can you take a good look at me? Look at me. Look at me. I mean, I have plans, okay? <laughs> a lot of men are flocking around me and sincerely speaking, you are holding me down. I, I need to move on. Jenny, yeah, you have a good heart, okay? 
okay and and I know that at this stage in our lives we are we have different priorities okay I hope you find a good lady that would love you right bye please Oh my god, this is a beautiful ring. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. With her luggage, you can tell that she she's my mother, the one who beat no, me. You know that would be stressful. I don't think you're too old for that. You shouldn't get yourself stressed like that. That is why I'm here to relax. I am living in the same state with you, but you refuse to come and see me. I'm sorry, Mama. I've been busy, like very busy. And sorry, I've not been calling the way I do, but I promise I'm going to change. Seriously, I will change. Busy doing what? I'm not busy working. What about women? No, I don't understand. Tony, do you think you're still a kid? Don't you know that you're getting old? For crying out loud. When are you getting married? I'm soon. I'll get married soon. As soon as I get the right person. Once I find the right person, I will definitely get married. What happened to Deborah? The, la the lady you were dating. That girl is good. And I like her. Mama, Deborah and I, we're no longer dating. She broke up with me. Why? She said I refused to propose to her and I was taking all her time, so. But you should have done that already. What were you waiting for? Mama, see, Mama you will not believe me. Do you know that at that point, I, the, the wedding ring, I mean the engagement ring was in my pocket. You know, I, I was just waiting. I was actually waiting for the right time. You know, to tell her whatever I want to tell her. Tony, there's no right time in a minute. The right time is now. You have to get a ring and propose to her and marry her. Eh? If you see a girl you like and the girl likes you, eh? what, what, what will be delaying you in getting married with that girl? Just go to the shop, get a ring. Give to, in fact, you don't even need a ring. The children of this generation Make a big deal out of all these things. So, Mama, tell me. <clears throat> how did Papa ask you to get married to him? I must be honest with you. When your father saw me, he asked me to marry him. And I agreed to marry him. And he said, he said, I should go and tell my people that he's coming to marry me. As soon as he came and did all the marriage rites, he got married. I 
listen to. I do. Um, Tony, yeah. how did you do? I hope you were able to wrap this up with her, Deborah. Just tell me she accepted your proposal. She did not she told me then. Oh. Um, see, Lord, if I don't know. Um, don't, 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 don't take it to heart, okay? You, you will not be lonely to me forever, okay? As time goes, we'll, we'll, we'll fix this, okay? We'll fix it. And I believe somebody somewhere, somewhere will make you happy. Okay? The tag lonely told you won't last forever. I know you are. No, 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 no. Oh. Stop calling my son lonely Tony. Uh -uh. For what? No, I'm sorry. Eh? I'm sorry. Maybe that is why he's not making any move to get married. Why should you be calling him lonely Tony? I'm sorry, my man. Like I said, I didn't know you were around. Oh, you, you thought I was not around. That is why we are calling him lonely Tony. Uh, eh? Am I not here? I'm, I'm the mother. Yeah? Am I talking? Okay, it's okay, mama. It's all right. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. Why don't go dress up and finish this video for us after that? So I can catch up. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. 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 All right. Any good one? Yes, we want to go to the normal Friday guy store. I hope there are. There's. Uh, Beautiful girls there. Ah, Mama, a lot, but different kind, different. Me, okay, please. I am begging you. As a good friend, make my son catch one beautiful girl. Please. Mama, that will not be a problem. Your son is in good hands. Mm. I will make sure that he grabs one. And if he refuses, I will make sure one will grab him. <laughs> That's it. Okay. If he doesn't grab, let that one grab him. I will accept it. I will do that mm. for you. Mama, mama. Yes, for me. I will do it. I'll will give you something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Felix, tell me how, how did your date go? How was it? It was a total mess. Oh. It was a pure failure. What, what, what happened? I found out she's a single mother. Huh? Really? She doesn't even look it. I had to end up everything with her. Why? You know about dating in the room now? Never, never. Date yes. a single mother? Oh, yeah. But why? Why? Because, because they have a child. But you know, sometimes I just keep wondering, I mean, why? I mean, these single mothers, why don't they end up with the fathers of the, 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 the child, I mean, of, of their children? Why? You know, some of these women, I mean, some of the single mothers could turn out to be the best wives in the house. I mean, total wife material. Trust me. You know, I think about the same thing too. Frankly speaking, I don't have the answer. <laughs> I know, right? I so bad. I like. I keep. Do I think so? Yes, we met at your wine shop. Oh, really? Really? So can I tell you? Sure you can. Oh, it's so good to, to recall you. Yes, yeah, thank right. you. That's what I did. 
Oh, hello, my food vendor. So someone made an order here and I delivered. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you do home delivery as well? Not really. Uh, usually I have a company that delivers for me, but unfortunately today I wasn't able to inform them on time, so I had to do it myself to get my integrity. Wow. Mm -hmm. Integrity is good for business, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. you, what are you doing here? Oh, boys day out. I came out with my guys. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, my friend. <laughs> boys with a boy. And always boys with a boy. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, can I at least have your number? Please. Okay, sure. Oh. Yeah, so, um, why don't you just put it here? to be your mother too. Thanks for coming into my life. Hmm? My boy. <laughs> Drink your juice. Hello, um, this is Amanda from Mandy Food Stores. How may I help you? Hello, Amanda. Yeah, my name is Tony. Does the name ring a bell to you? I'm afraid not. Okay, we we met at my office in the supermarket when you came to complain something to me. Tony, the wine shop guy. Hmm. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> so tell me, can I be... Modern that supermarket guy. Hmm. So tell me, how do you want to be a modern one shop guy? Well, I didn't see this coming. I you just put me on the spot now. Really? Yeah. Uh, but really, how do you want to be Tony? How do you want to be more than the wine shop guy, Tony? Tell me. Well, I can start by being your friend. Uh the truth is Amanda. You're a very beautiful woman, and you're so kind. And speaking about being friends, would you, um, would you love to hang out with me this weekend? Hmm. Are you asking me out? No, hell no. I'm asking you in. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll check my schedule and know when I'm free. Are you that busy? Of course. I'm a hard-working woman who runs an online food store. So yes, I am that busy. Um, that's interesting. I'm glad that I'm going to be um, part of your schedule. You're welcome. So I will call you when I'm free. Yeah, I will be expecting it. Sure, I'll call you. I have to go now. I'll talk to you later. All right, thank you for calling. No, it's not it. No, really, thank you for calling. I've been having a very stressful day, so thank you for calling and make my day. I'm glad I could help. Take good care of yourself, okay? All right, you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, where's this guy? Come, come, come. Why are you here? 
<laughs> Mama, I, I, I have been out. <laughs> what are we celebrating today? <laughs> Mama, I have a special date, a very special one with someone very, very special. <laughs> you must really like her. Yes, Mama. A date, right? Uh, Mama, not actually a date. As you can see, I'm dressed up casual. All right, it's just a, just a casual outfit. So it's not like a date, date, date thing, no? Please, my son. Don't spoil it like, the, like you spoiled the other ones. Please, I beg you. Please. Mama, I am not going to, okay? Believe me, I'm not going to do anything to spoil anything. Everything is going to work. But, well, Mama, see, I'm a big boy now. I know what I am doing. Uh -huh. eh? mm. Don't worry, Mama. Everything will be fine. Uh, 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 you know I'm going to carry my grandchild. Mama, don't worry. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know. I'll see what I, mean. I know. Don't spoil okay, it, my son. <laughs> Like her, could shame them if they don't do their work. Right? Well, so let's forget about her. Let's talk about boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've given a chance, we are with you. What are you trying to do? Switzerland. Switzerland. Why Switzerland? As a so odd, <laughs> odd <laughs> choice. Well, because the culinary art academy is in Switzerland. I can see you are really serious with this, your Of course I am. I want to be the best chef in Nigeria, in Africa, the whole world. <laughs> that is my goal and I'm going to get there. Oh, that's quite impressive. Seriously, I, I like it. But you know, I keep wondering, why, why a man uh, the ones that uh, Industry and the women are the ones that are busy in the house cooking very good food. Hmm. Well, the honest answer is very And on a professional level, it's actually very tough. So if you're not physically fit for it, you can't do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's it. Too. So, uh, children, you know, another thing I love so much, I love children. So. But especially cute, cute babies. I love them. I do not like them, but you know, I just can't wait to have my own kids and um, also having the experience of cooking good food so I can cook for them. Interesting. <laughs> so, what again do you like? Special cooking, a bit of traveling. I like money. <laughs> so just keep it.
That man, let's do that for another one. No, no, I'm okay. Okay. Let's see what are we going to use for this hill. We'll use water. Water to eat this hill. Yes, I'm fine. This is too much <laughs> No, no, we should take something out. No. <laughs> Yes, how are you? What? Where is Jesse? Okay, I'm on my way right now. What? What, what happened? I need to go. My child is sick. Your child? Like, yes. Like, 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 like you have a child like a demon? Yes, my child is sick. Yeah, you have a child and you kept it away from me. You never told me that. I mean, why would you keep such a thing away from me? Why? Well, because of the way you're reacting right now. That's why. So how am I reacting? You're hiding something from me and you're telling me I'm reacting? Well, because every man I've told just stop talking to me. Excuse me. Uh-uh. It's not good to tell lies to your mother. Hmm? It's okay, Mom. I'm not just ready to to tell you yet. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll let you know when the time comes. Anytime. I'm here. I'm ready for you, my son. Hmm? You know. Oh, should I go in? Or should I say it? No, no, no. I should go in. Yeah. It's okay. Nick, please get me two more waters. What is it? You've not been yourself since you came here. Guys, now talk to us. What will be the problem? Amanda. Amanda has a child, and his mm -hmm. name is Jesse. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <coughs> sorry. I didn't see this one coming. Oh, <coughs> Stony. Well, at this point, you know what to do, right? <sighs> what do you want me to do? End it. Whatever you have going on with her, you just have to end it and focus on your life. That's it. Why? That's good. You said it yourself, bro. She has a child. Mm -hmm. She is an after one. Oh. Another man's waste product. Bro, listen. I know. You shouldn't be saying it to my face just like that. I already know. It is what it is, bro. Remember our dating code. We don't date single mothers. Simple. I know it's very hard. I know it is painful. Tony, I was in your shoes last week. I had to let it go. You have to let it go. Tony, to be honest with you, I really do sympathize with you. I understand how you feel. But the truth is, you must let go. Alright? I, I feel your face, but let go. I'm here for you, bro. Anything you need, 
Just name it. Mention it. Come on. You know that lady I like? I mean, the one that I usually go out with. Yes, I know her. What happened to her? She... <sighs> she, she... She has a child. Eh, what? Second hand? Mama, Mama, please. Please, Mama, this is not the right time for this. Please. Don't Mama me. I can't believe it. That all this time you are dating a girl without knowing that she's after one. After one? I mean, what does that even mean? What after mean? one is somebody who has given birth to a child. One or two. But she has just one child. Just one. Hell! After one. Hey, what? God, what have I done to deserve this? Deserve what, Mama? Deserve what? Don't. All your mates are married. And you're not. Now that you have found one, he said you instead of you to find a French girl to marry, your eyes fell on a French woman. Eh? Hey! Mama, a woman is a woman. Fresh or unfresh. She's a woman. Hey! You went to the market to buy. Onogo. You did not see fresh one. You did not see Onogo. It's Onogo now on him. Onogo whatsoever, Mama. I, 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 I don't understand. All I want is for you to advise me. Advise me. Tell me. Let me know what do I do. What should I do? That is what you should help me do. I need your motherly advice, Mama. What do you do? Yes. At this your age, you don't know what to do. Drop her. Look another fresh girl. To marry. That's the only thing you can do. Mama, I should drop her because she has a child. Yes. Because she has just one child, I should drop her. Yes. You're still struggling to find a wife to marry. And you want to add a child to it, to the list. Are you ready for fatherhood? You know what it means? Eh, my son? I love her. I really do love her. Love about Let that love burn. Let it burn to fire. I cannot watch you getting married to that woman. At this my age, I want an old age, man. Okay, man. You cannot marry her. You have to look for a fresh girl. Pino Pino girl to marry. Not that girl. Hey. And you think I will not know? Eh? You think I will not know? Now I know why they call you.
me why you cry. I'm not crying. Mom, tell me why you cry. Stop crying, your friend is not a good friend. I'm careful. Oh. Tony, I've not seen you like this. Is this about that girl? It is that girl. I knew it. It's about that same girl. Forget that girl and move on with your life. She has a child for Christ's sake. What part of that don't you understand? And what is wrong? What is wrong in falling in love with a single mother? Everything, Tony. Everything. You signed up for love. You didn't sign up for responsibilities. Loving a single mother means responsibilities. That's it. I'm trying to save you here, man. You should be grateful to me. Grateful to, for what? You should be the one. That means help. You need to be saved. If it's you, Felix, you need help. You what need to be saved from it. What did you say? Hey, 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 hey. What is wrong with you? What is your business? Sonny, it's. Oh, come on. It's your business. It's okay. It's okay. Felix. So you start your own, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Calm down. Calm. No, no, no. Well, I... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. When last did I see you fall madly in love like this? It's a... Yeah, it's a strength. <laughs> who, who would believe this? But, hey, bro, on a serious note, Yes, I love her. Hmm. Point of correction. She's a lady, not a girl. What was the, what the difference? Well, <laughs> I can see that your, your, your love is really getting you up there and your love is sharp. Um, Tony, you just have to play it cool now, okay? Alright? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So tell me, what, 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 what do I do? What do you think I should do now? See, the wise man will say, when you love someone, you walk up to her and tell her, there is no crime in doing that. Okay. See, I know you've dated a lot of women that are not single mothers. But I, 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 I can see you truly love this Amanda of a lady. But you are clueless about dating a single mother. Alright? I think I will offer you help. You see? There is this man I know that can really give you the help needed. Okay, now, see. Tell me this. When you have a chance, you give this man a call. He's a relationship coach. He will guide you and give you every guideline you need. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. You see, I will do anything for you to be happy. You see, life is not about the number of breaths that we take. It's about the moment that takes our breath away. And you have to start creating those moments. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much.
Hello? Yeah, good day, sir. Yeah, please, am I on to Mr. Femi, the um, relationship coach? Okay, yes, my name is Tony. Yeah, just Tony. Yeah, I... I don't know if I can book an appointment with you. Okay, it's all right, sir. Okay, then I'll see you then. Thanks. Okay. All right, no problems. That was fine. Okay, all right. So, tell me. Um, what's the story? I fell in love with a woman. A woman whom I care and love so much. So, so much. But everything, everything started slowing down. Everything started, stopped, stopped moving. When I found out she has a child. Well. I can imagine the look on your face when you discover that she has a child. Um, don't be too hard on yourself, right? Um, it's Mama. Let me guess. She has been calling you. And you haven't been picking. And how come you know all these things? <laughs> well, it's my job. Um, I read people's behavior and um, it's also a typical you know, behavior of a simp. Talk to the devil, she's calling. Oh, don't answer that. You will, though. When you're done with my class. Class? I don't get. What class? Well, I am organizing a class for people like you who probably want to date or marry a single mother. Hundred thousand naira for you to teach someone how to how to love a woman. No, how to date a single mother. And so, come on, it's a whole new, a whole full course. I mean, come on, you need to be able to prove to the lady that you love her. I love my woman. I love her so much, and she knows that. Indeed. I'm going to be teaching you people how to, you know, make the single mothers fall in love. And I'm going to be sharing some tricks that, you know, over the years have been tested and trusted. And when you apply them, well, they are going to fall head over heels. So, before I get into my topic. I need you to understand that this is for serious minded individuals who want to marry these women. Not those that want to sleep with them and run away. So please, if you are here and you think that the only reason why you are here is that you want to get into their pants and not marry them, please. The door is open. Dating a single mother, you must acknowledge that she has a child. Never forget that. You must acknowledge that she has a child. You must acknowledge it at your workplace. I 
acknowledge it in your heart. Number two rule of dating a single mother is that the child is key. The child is key. When you call her, rather than ask how is she, she is doing, first and foremost ask how is the child. If you successfully do that, she's going to fall in love with you. I told him, but he denied it as usual. This was the same man that said he loved me. He denied ever having anything to do with me. My parents were so disappointed and ashamed of me. So I gave birth to Jason. We did a DNA test. It turned out that he was the father. You needed to see the look on his face. So, um, where is he and what is his name? His name is Kunle. <laughs> I know, right? I heard he was in prison the last time I inquired of him. I heard he stole laptop at the computer village. I was told he was almost lynched to death. If not for the intervention of the police. He was saved and sent to prison to do time. So, have you gone to visit him in prison? No. Why would I? He's proud of your child. Which he openly denied. But that does not change. That does not mean that you... I mean, you will not give him access to see his child. Wait. Whose side are you on? Mine or his? Huh? <laughs> Neither you nor him. No, the truth is that everything you do, everything you do, I want it to be, uh, I mean, 
to be to be legal and just. Yeah, even though she denied the child why you were pregnant, that does not change the fact that she still remains the father of your son. That doesn't change anything. I don't understand what you just said, but you are not the one to decide. You can't decide. But you can do something. At least you can find him uh, for the custody of your child. In that way, the court is going to block him from seeing or giving him access to see your uh, Jason. What you have to do right now is to contact every friend, every friend or relative that you know that is a lawyer. Contact them to fight this for you. And I believe it will work. That is exactly what you are supposed to do. I see Jason. child matter. The first impression was the child. Always leave a good first time impression with the child when you meet him or her for the first time. Remember that this child in question has never had a father in his or her life. Well, in most cases. So this is your chance to show that you can be a good father. You've got one chance. Use it wisely. You need to see where this man lives. Ah! What happened to the place? Ah! It's too far. Inside, inside the city. <laughs> you cannot even imagine. Hey. Oh, God. But did I tell you to send a dispatch rider? But instead, you insisted on doing it yourself. Anyways, 
My body will tell you by tomorrow. <laughs> You're not a good friend. I've always known that. My dear, as a cook, a dispatch rider should be your best friend. Mm. Really? And not you. Mm. <sighs> wait, 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 Amanda. Are you in love? What do you think? Hey, my friend, my friend. <laughs> Tell me, what's his name? Mm. Well, his name is Tony. Hmm. Okay, mm. so how long has this been going on? Mm. We met two months ago, but he recently asked me out and I said yes. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder you've been glowing like this. <laughs> Come like, down, Joe. <laughs> see what love has done to my friend. Hey. Mm. Oh, God. When? Uh -uh. Mm. Phoebe, you? Mm -hmm. What happened to Peter? Mm. I beg, I beg, I beg. That one. He's just there, please. Like, the love is even expiring. Yeah? I need fresh and new one, like your own. Ah, now you're talking. You see, you need to beg me to give you love because I have it. Hey. <laughs> okay. So, what did you cook? I'm famished. Hmm. It's all the food that you're interested in. You're not even bothered about your son, Jason. Oh, my dear son. Where is Jason? He's a good mother. I beg, he's sleeping. <sighs> Thank God. So, what did you cook? Hey, <clears throat> man. Did you know? I've taken enough. Did you know that that man I told you yeah. to give ah, lonely Tony, <laughs> lonely Tony, the man that likes to say hello. Yeah, no. Where have you been all this while? Ah, why you dare act like you don't know? With his single mother and girlfriend, of course. Hey, 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 please, 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 not again, not again, please. Uh, barman, barman, uh, please. Uh, Get bottles. What do you want to do? Eh? What do you want to do? I want to offer you drink. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll buy my drink and I'll pay for it. Are you telling me? Tell me. Okay. Huh? I'll call you when I need something. This is, this is just my little way of apologizing for his good behavior the last time. There's nothing there. Collins, it's okay. Uh, Collins, uh, sorry. Well, I. I want to officially uh, bring my woman I and mean, my girlfriend and introduce to you guys officially. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say your woman I and mean, your girlfriend? Oh, yeah. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Barman! Uh, ba <laughs> Barman! Uh, hold on. What? No, it's fine. It's congratulations, fine. man. Oh, thank you, Felix. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just hope you don't regret this later in life. I'm only looking out for you. Yeah, like you. But always, all the same. Like you've always done, I'm right? <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No, you need to see Amanda. Amanda is a very nice person. Trust me, you'll like her when you see her. Just say so. <laughs> okay, now, Obama. Teachings. 
So I am confused and concerned. Should I be worried? Wait. Which location did you film the dinner? Um, some popular, uh, I mean, hangout in town. A very prestigious place. Hmm. That was your first mistake. Good. I will explain. Single mothers are called single mothers for one reason. And that's because they have a child. You see, it would not be nice if you are on a date with a single mother and suddenly she has to leave because she needed to attend to her baby or her child or her children, as the case may be. It's always right to move the date close to the house. And that brings me to rule number four. Always take the date to her house. Okay. Yes. Oh. I just gave him. Well, if he stays, that means I won't have enough space to spend time with you. Oh, and I want to spend time mm -hmm. with you. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Mm. So, uh, you, I invited you for this the other day. And you didn't turn up. I called you, you didn't take your call, you didn't even um, call back. If you had called back, uh, at least I would have brought the dates to your house so you don't give me any excuses. Mm -hmm. But you didn't take your calls. Yeah, about that, I'm so sorry. That day was really hectic for me. I had so many others to attend. I didn't even know where my phone was during the day. So yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> and um, that reminds me, I'll be taking Jason to see the lawyer tomorrow. Oh, that's good news. Mm -hmm. So when you go, Ah, uh, give me the number. started
Amanda is visiting today. She, 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 she's coming today. And I'm nervous. That's the truth. But is that why you sent me an SOS message? I literally thought you were dying. So why are you nervous? Because I don't know what to do. So what you should do now is to start cleaning up your house, put one or two. <laughs> What is the problem? I got your message. You won't believe it, man. Amanda. It's Amanda. Okay? She's visiting him for the first time and the big man is nervous. Why is he nervous? Ask him. I don't know. Ah. Oh. Tony. You like this girl. You like her. That's the reason why you're nervous. Uh, guys, I think we're wasting time, okay? There's no time. Can we just go to work immediately? Uh, Please. Where are we starting from? I, I, I should be asking you guys. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's Just give me the recipe, how to prepare it and everything, and, and that's it.
mercy. <laughs> you did well. I mean, some other people, even your 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 people, even special to me, someone dear to my heart, the, the woman I would like to spend the rest of my life with. Her name is Amanda. Amanda, this is my mom. Greetings, mom. Oh, you won't go on. That's not my mom. Hmm? It's When you got me to chew me, me to chew me one one. Yes, yeah, they get to pull me. They been, it would just been. I love her, that is it. You were born a couple of years. So, my mom, you got a lawyer. I'm a mom, I'm a mom, I'm a big girl. You got a lawyer. You got a lawyer. You got a lawyer. I love her so much, please. You got a lawyer. So many girls out there that have had abortions. So many of them even gave birth and killed their own children. But that is not the case of Amanda. Mama, this is my life. You have lived yours. Let me live. I love this girl, Amanda. I love her so much. The only problem is that she has a child, and that is not my fault. I love Amanda. I, I love her son. I mean, Mike, you don't expect me to love the mother and not love the child. What kind of a man would I be? Was that the kind of man you trained me to be? No. So I'm going to get married to her. And as soon as I get married to her, her son automatically becomes my son. And as well, 
your grandchild. And Amanda becomes your daughter-in-law. Is that possible? And I want you to make peace with yourself and with Amanda. If you don't like it, force it to move money. I want you to pack your things and leave my house in one piece. It's me, Tony. Go away, Tony. Babe, I can't leave. I, I, I've come to get you. You've broken my heart, Tony. Go away. Amanda, please. Amanda, please, I'm sorry, okay? Sorry, I, I'm really sorry. She has refused to forgive me. I must say that um, having to hear that all of that from someone who is supposedly the mother of your lover is tough. I'm sure it's tough on her. And that might you know, have given her some emotional torture. I'm just confused. So confused that I don't know what to do. You know, I I don't know what to do for her to to love me back. That's what I want right now. I must say, the most humane thing to do right now is to go back home and talk to your mother. She must have to come to terms with you loving Amanda. She must understand that you love her, you truly, truly love Amanda, and that you want to settle down with her. You see, if you go ahead and marry Amanda without your mother's blessing, you're not going to enjoy the marriage. And I can tell you for sure, Amanda won't be happy. You know, there is this you know, joy, wholesomeness that come with in-laws, you know, in marriages, especially in Africa. So, your mom is the biggest puzzle to fix. As for Amanda, trust me, she will come around. 
So that was what happened. My mother actually said these words to me. But guess what? Amanda, Amanda understands it. I went after her. But she still walked away. I mean, I've been pleading ever since. She still hasn't forgiven me. Well, um, Tony, I actually understand her right now. It's, it's like it's too hard for her to deal with, okay? But don't you worry, she would come around. I know I came unannounced. I'm sorry. I came to apologize for my rude behavior towards you. I might have said some words that touched your heart. May you find a place in your heart for you, my daughter. I truly know that you love my son, and my son loves you back. Any relationship, I come on alone at your level. I support. I support it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my son. You see your son? Yes. His name is Jason. I'm from Ikuano local government in Abia State. Wow. My mom comes from there. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, may yeah. her soul rest in peace. Amen. So, what can I offer you? It's now you can let's now you see. <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry. I could have been with you. I am really sorry. You know, she took me by surprise. That was why I couldn't react immediately. I'm really sorry.
it's okay. I forgive you. You forgive me? Mm -hmm. Just like that? Just like that, yes. <sighs> Amanda, sorry if I may ask. I mean, why... Why will you just forgive me just like that? So why didn't you forgive me then? Nothing, I just... I just forgive you. Your mother came to my house. And she asked for forgiveness. And I forgive her. You're talking. Now you're telling me what I want to hear. Exactly what I was. Come on. So why, why, you won't be? Why, why, why did you hold back? Okay, if you know you have this forgiving heart, why did you forgive me immediately? I ran to you and apologized to you. Or why didn't you listen to me and forgive me when I came to your house? Why? Stop, Joa. <laughs> Same one. Tony, I love you, and I know you love me too. True. But for this relationship to work, we need to learn to forgive ourselves. True. But you have the right to get angry. Well, let's talk about it. Let's communicate instead of silent treatment. We are both adults, so let's act like one. Yeah, we are. Who is that? Pick it. Alex, I don't know why she keeps calling me. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Thank you for visiting her for me. <laughs> you bought me a bread to say thank you. Why don't you buy me a car? <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Yeah. See, my son, mm -hmm. I'm giving you my full blessing to marry your love. Your sweetheart. Thank you, Mama. Whoever you love. Thank you, Mama. Thank this you. life is a small place. It's a small world. And it's funny. Hmm? It's good you stay with somebody you love. Yes, Mama. For your life to be long. Thank you, Mama. Hmm? Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. Mm, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yes, Thank you, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Mama. Yeah? Like I say, hmm? yeah. I will surprise you. Yeah. You see that car you're talking about? Why didn't I buy you a car yeah. instead of buying bread? Yeah. Mama, I will surprise you very soon. Yeah. Yes, Mama. <laughs> Don't worry, Mama. I will surprise you. <laughs> I can't have gone to the bush, yeah. He said, he buy a car for me. How many years? I came to work with him. He said, he's still telling me now. Since five years ago, he told me that he's going to buy a car for me. He did not buy. But, well, where did he give me a check one? The young shark crew. Dating a single mother is a very difficult task. Because, you know, 
because of so many contingencies that we have discussed. However, I must commend you all for taking initiative, loving, and trying to care for single mothers because they do deserve it, like every other woman. However, I have noticed that some of you here have shifted your love and attention from the mother to the child or the children, as case may be. This is wrong. That brings me to rule number five. Never lose your attention on the woman. You see, you are there because of the woman. When your attention shifts to the sun and remains there, it breaks problem. You are there because of the woman and not the sun. Excuse me, sir. I'm lost here. Okay. In rule two, you said the child is the key. Focus on the child. Now you're saying we should pay more attention on the woman. Sir, if I may ask, how can we reconcile these two? Good. Yeah, yeah. Not to good, 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 good. Good okay. question. Okay. I like it. It shows you are paying attention. Good question. Here's the thing. When I said you should move your attention to the woman, here's what I mean. I mean you must pay attention to the son to be able to win his heart. Or the daughter to be able to win her heart. But your attention must not remain there. Because when your attention remains there, what will happen is that the woman is going to feel that she's competing with the child to gain your love. That is wrong. That is wrong, my good friend. Okay, I see. Do you understand? to make her feel special. One of the ways to do that is by spending quality time with her. Trust me, this is the love language of most women. I'm pretty sure that the woman you love fall into that category. Buy her gifts if you can and try to surprise her with it. Don't just give her gifts. Hide it. Surprise her. Women love those kind of surprises. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. If you are reading this, you would have found the package I secretly kept in the kitchen. Amanda, you are the most beautiful woman in my world today. You are kind, respectful, and you have a big heart. 
You're a very good cook. And how can I forget that? You are the only one in my mind and in my heart. Do you know the effect you have on me? Even in times of stress, I find myself calmer than usual. I always seem to find the lighter side in things and situations. This is so unlike me. The pessimist I used to be. You are the only angel in my heart of heavens. Do enjoy the rest of the day. Remember life is not the number of breaths you take, it is the moments that take your breath away. Create those moments with her, create those moments with you.
different as a boyfriend if you Yes, it does. You stand at him. God forbid. Oh. I cannot be your boyfriend and there is no way I'm going to be your boyfriend. I miss us. I, I miss us. Tell me the truth. Don't you miss what we had? Miss what? See, 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 let me tell you. I mean, there's no way. Baby, you remember that lady I told you? What's going on here? My ex Deborah. Deborah, make my lover Amanda. Baby, baby. Lover? Oh, yes, my lover. What were you thinking? Huh? What were you thinking? That I was going to remain idle waiting for you. Was that what you were thinking? Or I'm going to remain that, that, that lonely Tony? No. That would have made me crazy, right? No. I am now Tony, the lover. And thanks to my sweetheart that made everything possible for me. I love you so much, baby. I always love you. Excuse me, please. Baby girl, you're back. Like the great American singer once said, prepare for the worst but hope for the best. And that is what I want you to know. What is the worst thing that can happen in your relationship with a single mother? What? 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 Tell me. Probably she doesn't love you no more. She doesn't want a relationship again. Or her ex-boyfriend or ex-husband shows up and boom, you're in trouble. The child develops hatred for you. Maybe because of what you did, your action or inaction or something. Probably you didn't even do anything. Yes. But he or she hates you. What is the worst thing that can happen in your relationship? Are you prepared for that? Are you prepared for that? Well. That is an assignment I'm going to give to you. You don't need to submit it, by the way. I thank you all for coming to my class. Well, if you follow my rules diligently, I am, sh I am assured that you are going to have a loving relationship with a single mother. So thank you for coming to my class. I appreciate you all. Remember, there is always a single mother out there who deserves your love, your honesty, your trust, I want you to go out there and learn to love. Amanda, please marry me. I want to spend the rest of my life Just say yes and be my wife. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, it's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Remember. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. Thank you guys for remembering. I even forgot to tell something. Don't talk yet. We'll prepare something for you. Go, go, go. Yeah. Get the cakes. Right. Right. Get the cake. Get the chocolate. <laughs> Sit down with your face. Oh, special. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I got things for you, yeah? Uh, okay. What do you mean? I never huh? No. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't at all. No, it's not possible. I don't. I don't do that. Yeah. Even with the uh, 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 yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I guess that's all. No, who could that be? 
Let me check. Okay. I'm coming. Uh, who is that? Kule. Surprise. You even come out. Are you not supposed to come out next year? I behaved myself in the prison and I was released based on my good behavior. And I'm here to see my son. Which son? Jason, of course. Why? Because I don't want him to know who you are. I don't want you to have anything to do with you or your miserable life. I don't want you to ever know you were in prison. That is why. Now, you will do no such thing. You will do nothing. Get out of my house. So here I am, confused on what to do. Jason is the son to me. I need to be a huge blue for me if I lose him to Kunle. That's riffraff. So you be the judge. Was I a fool for loving Amanda? Why didn't I see this coming? Not yet, she's not able to put my comments, but I am confused as well. Tony, you don't have to be confused. You know, she might just be processing the information. And also, it's very tough on her having to deal with all this plus her business. Please. Tony, you, you, you're right. will take you, you guys will go and play, okay? Um, once I'm done discussing with mommy, I'll come and get you, all right? Come on, high five before you go. I'm scared, Tony. I don't want to lose Jason. Oh. You won't lose him, definitely you won't. Trust me. Tony, I can't, I can't, I can't believe this. Oh, I can't believe this guy is suing Amanda for the custody of Jason. I mean, what's giving him the guts? It's surprising. A guy that just came out of prison. I mean, the next thing he has on his agenda, I mean, is to fight for custody.
did the court session go? And what was the judge's verdict? It was, it was really a tough call. I'm sorry. Uh, the judge ruled in our favor. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say it immediately you enter? <laughs> eh? Why didn't you say it? Mama, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. He wanted to break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jason, your mother has full custody of you and the restraining order was given to us as well. That means that man cannot come close to you or your mother. Uh, come, 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 my grandson. Come, come, come. That's my grandson. <laughs> Honestly, one thing I know very well is that being with you is the best choice I've ever made. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. Meeting you, meeting your child will forever be the best thing that has happened to me. Thank you, so you know, much. you're amazing. It's just that I didn't see it at first. I didn't see it. <laughs> and if I had missed you, by now I would be crying. Seriously? Very. Thank you so much for like everything. For being there for me and my son. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. And I will love you even in our next life. Thank you. 